we are in the spice aisle and one of the things that I really like about this is that you can get the exact amount of spice that you want for whatever dish you're cooking. You don't have to buy an entire, uh, an entire container. It's really cool. Oh, popcorn seasoning. Well, there you go. You basically measure into this thing the, the amount that you want. You can view it down here and then you click into the plastic bag. You can get an ounce or two ounces of the spice, whatever you want specifically for a meal. I got some dried cilantro to make guacamole yesterday with some avocados and uh, it cost me under a dollar. I mean, I literally got one ounce. It was fantastic and I didn't have to, I didn't have to spend five or six dollars on an entire container. The gluten-free aisle, which is the one over there, is a great, uh, you know, wonderful opportunity for people with gluten allergies. Uh, the nuts are incredible. These are all going to be uh, a variety of source nuts. The, the space here is for a nut grinder, which is coming. We'll call it a nut butter grinder so you can make your own peanut butter or cashew butter or whatever you want. Get your assorted uh, nuts, grind them into a healthy, uh, a healthy peanut butter. In this consumer culture, I was so removed from like the production of food that I'm used to going to buy simply Jif for the kids. And uh, it's, you know, peanut butter is just ground peanuts. That's all it is. Why not make your own? So, and why not, you know, add and mix and match things? So it's a wonderful setup here. It's very well organized, easy to use. It's a full shop here for, for easy and quick meals. Okay, well, welcome. I'm Brad Jones, I'm the president of Harristown, and we're the owners of Strawberry Square here on a, an extremely proud moment here as we welcome another flagship tenant here to the square. I want to particularly uh, thank our uh, HPS construction team, uh, the folks from uh, HPS helped build this with the owners here. And, uh, it's been a, a fantastic uh, teamwork. We have long awaited a grocery store here in downtown Harrisburg. I think this is the first grocery store in downtown probably for several decades. In fact, most of the people... <laughs> like every deal, these were difficult deals to put together. I want to thank our leasing team, our chief deal maker, Neil West, and our leasing manager, Tracy Tressler, and all of the Harristown team that worked uh, tirelessly to help bring this to Strawberry Square. As you can see, we are in a pretty interesting spot here in the square that has grown quickly in the last couple of years. And we now have, someone remarked to me that with this grocery store here now, and the Rite Aid, and the coffee shop, and the Pinnacle UPMC doctor's office that's coming here, these are all the things that are inside of a regular grocery store today, right? But they're all under one, you know, sort of flat, sometimes uninteresting roof. And here in Strawberry Square, we've got people living right on top of all this. So we have 24 apartments, all leased sitting right on top. So wouldn't you love to just come downstairs and have all this at your front door? So I can't uh, tell you how excited we are for this. Um, you can't go anywhere in, in downtown and talk about downtown revitalization without somebody asking you, where's the grocery store? When's that going to come? So. Ladies and gentlemen, it is here, and uh, I am thrilled that we have so many people here to, to welcome it, and I hope you will, it, it's bring your wallet to work day, every day here at Strawberry Square, okay? So we hope you'll follow instructions, and the good news is this is gonna be open seven days a week. So bring your wallet to work. With that, I want to just uh, welcome our uh, friends, the commissioners, uh, Commissioner Mike Priest, Commissioner George Hartwick, who have a special proclamation. I want to also thank them for their continued support of everything we do here at Harristown, in the downtown, with the city. Uh, they are uh, they're catalysts for change and catalysts for projects, and they've been involved in just about everything that we've done in the last 15 or 20 years since I've been here. So. Commissioner Priest, it's all yours. Thank friend. you, Brad. You know, first I'm going to turn it over to my colleague, George, for the remarks, and then I'm going to present this proclamation. George, go ahead. What a, what a great day in downtown Harrisburg. We know, uh, as the region goes, we need a strong urban center. Uh, and one of the most important things about having a strong urban center is supporting what is here. The reason why you don't have investment in grocery stores in downtown is because 
folks go to the Giant on Linglestown Road, and I'm not disparaging Giant, but if we can walk and not have a food desert in downtown Harrisburg and have the ability to have fresh fruit fruits and vegetables, we need to take pride in supporting what's here because the investments are a bit more challenging, the risk is a little greater, and the challenge for meeting the rent payments, uh, which are required, uh, are also a little greater. So uh, that's going to take us all pulling together. So uh, we, no matter where I live, since I li work downtown, I also need to do my part to make sure that we're coming here to pick up fresh fruits and vegetables and making sure that we provide a healthy meal for our, our kids uh, and our families. Because oftentimes the snacks and potato chips and the things that we grab on the fly with all of our busy lives aren't necessarily the greatest for us. And in here we've got great fresh produce, the ability to add to uh, a, a much more diverse menu for a healthier population, and all the social determinants of health point to what's happening right here in downtown Harrisburg. The ability to have fresh fruit, the ability to have development, the ability to have great growth in this section of town. If you look, and we're just walking down the street, I was just with John Sider, we were counting the number of businesses that were brand new just walking to this location. This is a growing center of the city and we have an obligation to make sure it stays in that direction. Thank you to the proprietors who ultimately put in uh, the hard work, the revenue, and the effort to be able to see this vision. And Sean Donovan, uh, I know we, he's also one of the part owners of this thing, uh, knows everything from the infrastructure to the transportation to the workforce that's needed for here. Um, having that kind of insight um, is going to certainly be helpful in making sure the business is success, but nothing will be a success unless we open up our wallets we come here to be able to support something that's now a viable option for individuals who may live in this area. And as we grow the area and we see Harrisburg University making one of the most remarkable turnarounds of any other college or university, yeah. seeing more staff, more, more broad-based individuals from out of this country making it even more diverse community, we need to be able to make sure we continue these offerings and we all play a part in that. So thank you to all of you who have made it happen. I'd like to turn it over to my colleague, Commissioner Mike Priest, to offer some remarks. You know, I'd like to start off. I always get to follow this guy up. That's a hard act to follow. I want to start off and give a special thank you to an individual uh, who, under his leadership, the city of Harrisburg, continues to thrive. And uh, Mayor, you've done a fantastic job. Congratulations to you. Look forward to working with you Thanks. for four more years, sir. Yeah. Thank you for everything. Uh, Brad, all the work that you do in the downtown and here in the city of Harrisburg, let's thank him as well for everything that he's done. Brad, yeah. Yeah. Thank our proprietors, Sean and Andy, and your family for being here today. Uh, you were truly taking the bull by the horns and making something happen. I can't tell you how many times I leave work and got to stop somewhere on my way home or get something for my family. I don't need to drive somewhere to do it now. I can just walk across the street and pick it up here, and I appreciate you guys for that as well. Without further ado, I'd like to present this proclamation into the record from the Board of Commissioners, Jeff Hayes, George Hartwick, and myself. We, the Dauphin County Board of Commissioners, are delighted to celebrate the grand opening of downtown Harrisburg's new neighborhood grocery store provisions. Whereas located at 17 North 3rd Street, in the heart of Harrisburg at the Strawberry Square Complex, Provisions offers the freshest food as well as other natural products at affordable prices. They are affordable, right? <laughs> We're going to find out. Whereas this one-of-a-kind neighborhood grocery store caters to busy city workers, and residents and offers convenience as well as superior customer service, whereas Provisions promises to be a good neighbor and a vital contributor to the progress here in Dauphin County. Therefore, we join the 270,000 residents of Dauphin County in most warmly welcoming Provisions to our capital county and in wishing co-owners Adam Porter and Sean Donovan enduring success in celebration of its grand opening, we are pleased and proud to proclaim November 1st, 2017 to be Provisions Grand Opening Day in Dolphin County. Thank you, Commissioners, and uh, for all your support. And I think it's uh, time we hear from the proprietors themselves, and then we'll follow it up with the, the mayor. Uh, but I also want to uh, just make a couple observations. These gentlemen are entrepreneurs here and we've seen a really gutsy show of entrepreneurship in this city and this is another great example of that 
you know, you've known Sean from his work at the Critic in the Chamber, and you've, if you've seen, if you've been in, in, in the city at all, you've probably seen Adam at one of, like, four other things that he does, and I think there's maybe two or three of him. He also runs the Midtown Cinema, he's in charge of the Startup Harrisburg with some other partners, and now this is his third enterprise. He might have maybe two or three others I don't even know about. Uh, so, we, we were delighted to be able to work with these gentlemen. They're first class, they're fun to work with, but they're very entrepreneurial in spirit and, and just, you know, this is something that they've been working on for a couple years and now we've been able to brought it all to fruition. So I want to welcome Adam and Sean, you guys can decide who wants to say what. Sure. Uh, Um, so this day is about three years in the making. Uh, Sean and I met through uh, my business partner at Startup, the co-working space, Brad mentioned. Um, and I, I said to Sean, I need a car to feed myself. That's, that, that's kind of crazy. Um, Want to help me build a grocery store because I knew of his previous business. Um, and three years and a whole lot of iterations of this idea later, here we are. Um, I'm going to keep this brief because I could ramble and probably start tearing up. Um, thank you so, so much. Thank you. I'd just like to thank everybody for coming out to support us today. It's a great crowd. Uh, you know, enjoy seeing everybody here. Uh, again, just want to thank some, fo some folks. Uh, you know, again, it took a lot of people to bring all this together. It kind of, as Adam said, you know, some, it was some folks we talked to, uh, a lot of work went into this, talking to the community, talking to different people involved to try to make sure that we got the right product in the right place and then to the right people. Uh, so I'd just like to thank uh, my wife Heather and son Keegan for all the, the time they put into it. Uh, helping out for the greatest thing. Uh, I'd also like to thank my family for coming out today to support me. Uh, and also for my mother-in-law for basically Kind of initially starting all of this many years ago with a, a former business she had this kind of grew out of that uh, through a couple of iterations there's a whole story to that which we won't go into today but uh, <laughs> thank you for that and uh, thank you for my parents for coming out today as well so uh, so again just thank you for everybody that, that's been involved thank you for those that, are, that have come out to support us today uh, we appreciate having you here thank you sean thank you adam thank you again. I believe Kara is here on behalf of uh, the Harrisburg Regional Chamber. Wanted to say a few words. The Chamber, of course, is sharing Sean a little bit here in their own way. So uh, they get to see their their mission at the Chamber at Creedic is to be a catalyst for this region. And little did they know they had a secret weapon here inside their own organization with Sean Donovan. So, Kara? Thank you. Yes, as Brad mentioned, this is a really special day for the Chamber. Um, for many reasons. One is that both Adam and Sean have been chamber members with their businesses for, for several years and huge supporters of our community. The other is for 10 years, Sean has been a chamber and critic employee. Um, he's part of our family at the chamber in many, many ways and it's wonderful to share in his success. There's one thing that Sean taught me um, that's very important and that a success for a business like this is an success for our entire region. We will see a ripple effect throughout the region uh, affecting health, um, you know, helping to solve issues that we see in our community and inspiring others to take that risk and take that first step and start something else that, that really just becomes part of this and helps us all. So we're very happy to share this today. Just uh, echo the, some of the comments that uh, Commissioner Priest made about our mayor. We couldn't be more thrilled that we've got another four years of Mayor Papenfus. And I know he has been here for every event we've held in the last two and a half years. And let me you tell you, personally keep me busy. And there, there's been a lot of them. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't, you know, say, you know, I'm, I'm tired of walking across the street and coming to another ribbon cutting. You know, so he has been a tireless advocate for this city, and you can start to see all these things coming together all across the city, not just here in the downtown, but great things happening all across the city. 
record number of homes being sold in the city this year. You're seeing big projects like the PHFA project on Front Street, expansion there. You're seeing Pinnacle Health make a dramatic uh, investment not only here in Strawberry Square, but two more floors at Second and Chestnut. These are transformative projects, and all this stuff is confidence and leadership. That's what this is about. So with that, I'd like to welcome your mayor, Mayor Eric Pappenfuss. First, like, what I'd like to say is just, just look around for a moment and soak up how beautiful these series of renovations are which Harristown has, has overseen. Um, the, the Rite Aid is, is the most beautiful Rite Aid anywhere in central <laughs> Pennsylvania. We've got the Fresa Bistro, which has some of the most incredible prepared food and salads anywhere. And now we have provisions which is, is it's practically space age. When you walk in, you will be amazed at the use of space. Um, the, uh, the, the, just, just the whole field is incredible. And none of this was here just a year ago. Right? It's all within the last year. And when you couple that with the residences that are above, this is an extraordinary investment. And it really is better than the largest of supermarkets. If you, if you put these things together, the prepared food, the prescriptions, the dry cleaning, the coffee, and the groceries, you put all those together, you have all the conveniences of a modern suburban supermarket in a much more exciting urban setting and in a beautiful, wonderful design with all of this collective investment. It really, it really is incredible. And Adam and Sean, I want to congratulate you all. I think it's wonderful that this grew out of conversations from startup. And uh, the entrepreneurial spirit is alive and well in Harrisburg. And while you could have done this anywhere, you've chosen to do it in the downtown because here is where the demand is. Our population is growing. Our permanent revenues are growing. People are opening businesses left and right. And what we've needed for a long time is exactly what Provisions is providing. Quality groceries at an affordable price. Now, let me speak as a customer for a minute because I got a chance to come shopping here yesterday and I made dinner and I spoke to customers. <laughs> First of all, the prices are phenomenal. They're better than you're gonna find at Giant. You're sure you can get bananas for 49 cents a pound and uh, you can get your fresh produce. But it's amazing, you can get exactly the amount of spice that you want. You can get one ounce. I wanted to make guacamole last night, so I can get my uh, avocados, I can get my limes, I can, I can get an onion, tomato, but I can also get a little bit of dried cilantro. So I went over to the spice rack and I measured out one ounce and I put it in my, in my thing and it cost me a dollar. I didn't have to go buy an entire container of dried cilantro, I could get just what I wanted to make to make dinner. Now while I was doing that, a woman came in who had ridden her bike, and aren't we excited about uh, all the bike shares and all the exciting things that are happening, ridden her bike from Riverside, which is where I live, all the way in the northern part of the city, down to go shopping, and she was buying rice and beans in order to go back, and she's a vegetarian, and she's thrilled with all the vegetarian options. So I had somebody in the rice and bean aisle, I was in the spice aisle. There was somebody else that had come to check out the amazing gluten-free possibilities. And you have the first aisle when you come in, entirely gluten-free. You can get exactly what you want. It's, uh, it's an, incredible, an incredible thing to have that opportunity. And did you know they have 20 varieties of granola? I counted yesterday. <laughs> I had the supernola, which is which is extraordinary. That also, I ended up with an entire bag of supernola, and it cost me under two dollars. So I don't know how that was possible. The the ability to buy the exact amount that you want, whether it's a snack or feeding a whole family, is really is really amazing. Fifteen varieties of trail mix. You can bring your own container. You can buy a jar. It is it is it is phenomenal. And the other thing which they are offering is they are going to expand their offerings based upon demand. And I saw this also yesterday. We had a gentleman come in, he was looking for chia seeds to make smoothies, uh, banana smoothies and chia seeds. And so chia seeds went up on the order board and they're going to be coming into the, uh, into the aisle soon. Um, and they are going to be responsive. Like any good community grocery store, they're going to cater to the needs of the populace. And that's something which which a chain won't do and can't do, but which Provisions will do and is committed to doing. So, 
Uh, I think it is amazing. It's going to revolutionize how we shop in Harrisburg. I agree completely that we'll be able to come here on a lunch break, get a few ingredients for a healthy dinner at home. Don't have to make that drive, that half hour drive, I don't know, up Linglesnow Road to the Giant or out to Klein Village or wherever you go to a supermarket, you can do it conveniently here. And it is, it is an amazing testament to, uh, to the community coming together and saying this is what we want to see. The other thing which Harristown has done is they have very carefully listened and gone out and sought to fill the gaps in the needs of, of this growing population. Couldn't be done without the entrepreneurs, but uh, it, is, it, it is done in connection with the two. I know your business model is going to be successful because uh, the demand is there, and we are thrilled to have you, finally, as Harrisburg's grocery store provisions. Congratulations. <laughs> And with that, Keegan is going to do the honors along with Adam and Sean. Now we got to do a countdown before you, before you squeeze. Let's count down from five. Are we ready? Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh!